Is sugar simple or complex? Sugar is a type of simple carbohydrate. This means that it breaks down very quickly, sending sugar into your bloodstream fast and causing spikes in your blood sugar. After eating simple sugar, you might feel a burst of energy because it breaks down so quickly. But soon after that burst, you may feel tired because your body uses up that sugar and leaves the bloodstream just as fast. This is what causes that spike or that up and down effect. Now let's talk about the two types of sugar. There's naturally occurring sugar. This means that no one is modifying the food to add sugar or make it taste sweeter. And this is like milk, yogurt, or fresh fruits, where people don't usually add sugar to these kinds of things. Or you can't. And the second is added sugar. It's just what it sounds like, sugar that is added to foods. You find added sugars in sweets, canned fruit juice, and soda. Sweets also include bakery items, candy bars, and ice cream. So another question is why should you limit your consumption of sugar? Your body processes all sugar the same. It doesn't know the difference between natural or added sugar. It doesn't pick and choose like, oh, this one's good for me, this one's bad for me. But this doesn't mean that you should get all your sugar from sweets and soda and those kind of things. Natural sugars provide vitamins and minerals, whereas added sugars just don't. It's important to limit sugar to keep your blood sugar levels stable and within a healthy range, preventing those quick ups and downs. Plus, excessive consumption of sugary foods and drinks can often lead to weight gain because they tend to have more calories than the average food. And now we're going to watch a video explaining the hidden sugars in everyday food items. Remember, the goal is not to cut out sugar from your life completely. Just try and like limit it as much as you can. The video talks about the different names and types of sugar. And this is really important when you're learning how to read nutrition food labels, which we'll learn how to do later in this presentation. Sugar isn't always just written out as sugar, and it actually has a lot of different names. So you should listen closely in order to know what to look for. Sugar is playing hide and seek with you. You'd think it would be pretty easy for you to win, considering all the sugar in sodas, ice cream, candy, and big white bags labeled sugar. People get about half of their added sugars from those drinks and treats, so it might seem like sugar is hiding in plain sight. But like someone in the Witness Protection Program, the other half is hidden in places you'd least suspect. Check the ingredients on ketchup, bologna, spaghetti sauce, soy milk, sports drinks, fish sticks, and peanut butter. You'll find sugar hiding in most of those products. In fact, you'll find added sugars in three quarters of the more than 600,000 items available in grocery stores. But how is sugar hiding? Can't you just look on food labels? It's not that easy. Just like your friend Robert might go by Bob, Robbie, Rob, Bobby, or Roberto, added sugar has a lot of aliases. And by a lot, we don't mean five or six. Try 56. There's brown rice syrup, barley malt, demerara, Florida crystals, muscovado, and of course, high fructose corn syrup, sometimes called HFCS or corn sugar. Even sugar's tricky nicknames have nicknames. Grape or apple concentrate has the same effect on your body as its 55 sugary twins. And even though organic evaporated cane juice sounds healthy, when you evaporate it, you get sugar. Chemically speaking, it's all the same. And even trickier, when multiple added types of sugars are used in one product, they get buried down in a long list of ingredients. So the sugar content might appear to be okay, but when you add them all together, sugar can be the single biggest ingredient. Currently, the FDA doesn't suggest a recommended daily limit for sugar, so it's hard to tell if the 65 grams in a bottle of soda is a little or a lot. But the World Health Organization recommends limiting sugar to just 5% of your total calories or about 25 grams per day. So 65 grams is well over twice that amount. But just what is sugar? What's the difference between glucose and fructose? Well, both are carbohydrates with the same chemical composition of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. But they have very different structures and behave quite differently in our bodies. Glucose is the best source of energy for nearly all organisms on Earth. 
It can be metabolized by all organs in the body. Fructose, on the other hand, is metabolized primarily in the liver. And when your liver gets overloaded with sweet, sweet fructose, the excess is metabolized to fat. Fresh fruits actually contain fructose, but it's naturally occurring and doesn't cause an overload because the fiber in fruit slows its absorption. This gives your liver the time it needs to do its job. It's sugar that makes cookies chewy and candy crunchy. It even turns bread crust a beautiful golden brown. It's also a great preservative. It doesn't spoil or evaporate, so the foods it's added to are easier to store and ship long distances and tend to be cheaper. That's why sugar is hiding everywhere. Actually, it might be easier to list the foods that added sugar isn't hiding in. Things like vegetables, eggs, meats, fish, fruit, raw nuts, even your kitchen sink. Simply choosing water over soda, juices, and sports drinks is a great way to avoid hidden added sugar. At the very least, try to pay attention to food labels so you can keep your sugar intake at a healthy level. Because in this game of hide-and-seek, every time you don't find added sugar, you win!